What is happening, guys? It's Brigadam. We are back with more Spectre of Torment for the Shovel Knight game. Um, <clears throat> last we left off, we did the introduction level and the uh, the tour of the hub world. So now we're going to speak to the Dark Acolyte and get through the first of the uh, missions proper. So like I said last time, we are doing King Knight in Pride More Keep first. So let's head on in. <coughs> now, as I mentioned last time, I have actually played... Um, the first two of these maps, I did Pride More Keep and I did the uh, Mole Knight level. So if you didn't know, but by the way, first of all, there's a secret back here. It's in all of the uh, uh, all the Shovel Knight expansions. You can go back here and the Yacht Club Games symbols back here, along with a scuff. So if you didn't know that, there that is. Gives you a bunch of money. And that's the way you get that extra ruby. You have to knock the head off and boost off the head. Nothing crazy, but... Once you're done this, you can get back onto the actual level proper. Um, there are some pretty interesting and tough jumping puzzles. Um, the intro level is comparatively very simple um, when you look at the rest of this uh, campaign, at least so far from what I've played. Um, it gets much more difficult. So um, we're going to try and do this as gracefully as we possibly can, but we'll see how that turns out. Um, Again, with the way this thing works, you got to be very careful with your jumps. Because um, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble since, one, you stick to the walls, which can cause you issues. Um, sometimes you can miss jump and actually kill yourself like that, although that actually worked out really well. And because this thing's got a, a red banner on it, I can't climb on that wall, so I have to go into the face of where that fire is. Hopefully I can kill this guy first. There we go, get rid of him. Uh, and then you got to hop off. So we're going to do this. Oop, see, right there. He takes a second to cling to the wall, so you have to kind of time it really well. Like that. It is pretty tough. Um, and this is... Damn it. Uh, this is uh, the second little recording session, so I'm trying to... There we go. Uh, trying to get myself acclimated again. Took me a couple seconds, as you can see. But we'll get there. Alright. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, so. There is a... So now obviously you can't jump there, so you got to climb up here. Jump off. Now you don't want to kill these guys, or at least the second one you don't want to kill, because you need him to boost across. Uh, so we're going to go up here. Hopefully I'll be able to show you, I think the first, uh, at least one map I know how to kill, I know how to get all of the uh, skulls. I think in the second map, the Mole Knight map, I've only ever gotten nine of them, so I'm going to try and work on that for you guys. Let's go to this secret area. Watch out for this idiot. Him and shtabam and shtabam and shtabam. There's another one. I'm not gonna get this guy. Get the darkness back. Uh, this one there is, I believe, health up there. It's not too difficult to get to. Yep, there we go. It's health and the checkpoint. And away we go. Alright, so this guy is. You can actually knock these uh, weapons back if it actually benefits you. Um, come up here. To our next section. You, gotta, you can't go through this wall, but you can swing through. This works much like the original Shovel Knight. Um, where you have to do these balancing acts on these uh, uh, disappearing platforms. Not too bad, but just takes patience. A little doing. Um, so we're going to do this. Get all this money out of here, out of this pile. Take out these guys first, just because... They can cause problems. Not too many, but... Yikes. Alright, we just barely made that one. Alright, we're gonna do our boomerang, because we can knock this guy out. Using boomerang. Grab that money. Get this. Now again, this one you can climb right up the wall, so you don't have to worry about bouncing off of everything. It just makes your life a little easier. And like I said to you before, there are some spots in this game that are pretty difficult. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah shit, you know what, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna uh, waste a life here. Um, I want up there is one of the skulls and I missed it. Um, so I wanna make sure I go back and get that. So we're gonna do that right now. Uh, we're already through here, we have full health, I don't need that. Again, this is not terribly difficult here. Uh, we can waste a little bit of life early on in this, it's not a huge deal. Let's get up here. 
again. And we are right back where we were, so. Four out, come on. Thank you. All right. One, a two, a three. Get this. Yeah, that, that uh, particular skull can be challenging because the guy you need to boost off of can cause you problems by not paying attention. Which you can see I didn't do very well. So I need to dodge this, use this, kill him, get inside here and grab all the money. And then I need to get down here without falling down. Which is more... There we go. Perfect. There we go. Alright, so Skull Acquired. We don't necessarily need that extra little dollar. Uh, there's a secret over there. There's a Skull up here. Now again, I can't jump off this, so I gotta be careful. To not die. I go up here. I think this might be a bomb. Oh no, it's health. Okay. Never mind. Um, this is, again, just like the other Shovel Knight expansions. And the actual game proper. Avoid those. A um, lot more timing involved in these ones, though, so you're gonna hop up here, watch for the jump, and make it up, and this guy can be a real pain in the ass. You just gotta wait for his opening. Uh, and certain enemies will give you um, darkness at different intervals, like, if they have a lot of health, they'll sometimes give you uh, more than you necessarily needed. Now this one, I know, is a bomb. That, um, that uh, a plate up there is a bomb, so we're gonna take this guy out first. Ah, it took a hit. That sucks. That took two hits. Shit. Never want to see that happen, but it's okay. Realistically, if I needed it, let's see, look, this. Oh no, it was health. It's usually a bomb. Interesting. All right, so this one's got to be. This one's very uh, tough. We need to jump here, climb up here without jumping off yet. And time it well so we can boost up and then get the skull. There we go. Next area. Uh, this guy is not terribly difficult, but ah, damn it. his counterpart later in the map is tough because he uh, makes you fly back, which is a pain. Ah. There we go. He's dead. There's a precarious uh, spot later with another one of those that causes you a lot of problems. All right, so here's another little secret. Um, you want to not fall. There we go. Here's a wisp, a willful wisp uh, box. So we're gonna grab that. Willful wisp, increasing your max health. So now we got six hit points, or six hit boxes rather. There's an apple, bring the money behind here, and hop up. Now these guys, like I said before, you can knock out there. You can knock. Oh no, I guess the silver ones you can't. Interesting. Thought you could. Alright, it's okay. If we get hit again by this guy, I'll just pop the, uh, the willpower up and get myself some health back. Okay, this one is interesting. So we're going to do our best to not hop on too many of these bricks. Uh, like that. Alright, we made it out, but a little dangerous. Alright, so if you hop here, secret area. I shouldn't have gotten that. Now that I'm looking at it, that was dumb. Alright, so we're gonna do this as quickly and efficiently as possible. There we go. I'm not gonna worry about that money right now just because I'd rather stay alive at the checkpoint. And we're gonna use the Will Skull. Get ourselves some health back. Alright. And a little more health back. Perfect. Um, I forget. Oh yeah, it's up here, I think. Climb up here. Up. Oh. Now this one is a very, very annoying timing-based puzzle. I had a lot of trouble with this the first time I did it, so that pour out and go. Unfortunately, uh, there is a skull in this area. Come on, idiot. Here we go. Now we should be able to get it and come back. Alright, it's okay. We had Will. Oh no, we lost it. Hell shit. Well, we got the skull anyway, so it's not a huge deal, and the checkpoint's not that far behind. Um, I think... Um, based on my repeating of this um, puzzle so many times through playing it a couple times, I've gotten better at it, but this one gave me a lot of trouble the first time. Timing was a little tough. See, and that, that's the other thing that really gets you is the hopping off of areas. Come on, stupid. No, 
let it just start it again. Alright, let's do it again. I can wait one second there. Yep, perfect. Get that. And we'll wait until this thing goes. There we go. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Now, one of the later power ups for the uh, boomerang lets you get your money back um, by throwing it at it. Unfortunately, now we don't have that, which would be nice. Come on, dude, hurry up. Fuck. I'm dead. <sighs> this is not easy. I should have just committed and gone really fast, but. Like I said, some of the puzzles, not that easy in, this, uh, in the actual levels proper, so. Sucks, but it is what it is, so we will get through it. Just take us a little bit of time. So let's go across. Oh, shit. Through one, through two, hop over. Perfect timing. Now, I could have probably done that without waiting, but that was stupid of me. Go, go, go. There we go. One, two, hop up. Let this go. I'll leave that money behind. I, m I mean, I want it, but it's not a huge deal. Checkpoint. Now, there's also a secret back there. Oh, no, that's the way you're supposed to go. Take that back. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> that was extraordinarily lucky. All right, so this one's the one that's a tough one. Um, so you want to see if we can kill him first. Without him blowing you off the edge, because he's a dick. This one is the one, one of the ones where I was like, you know what, I'll just take the hit. No! Ugh. Die already, dude. Ooh. Okay. So he's gonna give us health. And now we can go about getting this last skull without as much of a problem. Again, you gotta be careful, because if you jump off that thing, those things go away. Right, up we go, and here we are at the uh, boss fight. So, not too terrible. Um... He's actually very easy. Um, he was very easy in the other one, too, so. Uh, chasing your tail around in the valley must be tiring. In fact, you look like death. Great pun. Um, as our leader suspected, you dawdle and play at nobility. I've been tasked with setting you back on schedule. What should I do? Grab a shovel and start digging? And it's a nice little dig at Shovel Knight, quote-unquote. Um, just thinking about it makes, me flawless, makes my flawless face flush. Uh, working is for commoners, but I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Watch. All right, so he's got one little caveat to his battle that makes it a little different than the last one, in that he gets rid of the floor uh, in certain spots, which is come on, uh, which is a little bit of annoying annoyance, but not too bad. And as long as you do the lock on and you're diligent about it, you should have no real trouble with him. Um, so you got to make sure you avoid these things as best you can. You can kind of boost off of him. I was lucky. If I really want to, I can just use this. And then do this. Alright, so we got more of the ground leaving right now. Shit. Yeah, so it's cheap. Ooh! I just got a bunch of darkness back. We may st Nope, we're dead. <laughs> Thought I would live to see another day and completely botched it. Um, Alright, it's okay. We're gonna get this back. I was kind of stuck in like a weird loop there, which is very annoying. I didn't. It's kind of pissing me off a bit. Put my money back. I don't wanna lose that much money on him. And again, you gotta kind of be careful with the way you dash around because you can get yourself into trouble. Will, get my health back a little bit. He's in pretty rough shape right now, though. Yeah, see? And, and the, the floor spikes that leave are completely at random. So, he's dead, though. We got him. The fun part is, too, if you don't kill those mice, they keep coming at you. As they're flying by, so you can actually get hit by them, which is kind of hilarious. And a little bit annoying, too. Alright. So, King Knight. Finished. We're gonna wake up though. And we're gonna end up back in the tower. Now I have 14 of these things, so I believe I can get the next two curios. 
So we'll see. Uh, yep, I have exactly enough. So we're going to do Dread Talon first. <clears throat> which is actually pretty cool. Um, the Dread Talon is basically a really good melee attack. So it can actually take out a lot of enemies in one shot, which is pretty excellent. Like that. Um, there's a secret back here. A little bit of money. We just have to hop up when this guy's done shooting and take him out, and we are out of there. Alright, there we go. Dread Talon. Now, the last power-up that you get right here is actually really awesome. Um, I haven't figured out where it's going to be needed yet in the uh, actual game, but it's pretty cool. The Shadow Mirror is very interesting. <clears throat> so we're going to do this one, and then we'll go uh, power up some of our uh, side weapons, or sub-weapons. Alright, Shadow Mirror. So, you can't reach this guy without your weapon, right? You can't use it. But if you use this, you can hop across and get him. So, you do this, hop up there. Your guy is the only one you have to worry about, but he floats in front of you and clears the way, which is really cool. Damn it. Really cool if you ask me. Get him, and away we go. <laughs> he literally just said, away we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So, now because we've finished that off, we're going to go up here and go pay our respects to the other Legion character. If you didn't notice, King Knight was sitting at the table up there. So... Spectre Knight, offer a thousand gold. I believe you have to do it three times, so it's three thousand gold. It's a lot of money. Uh, yes, a thousand gold. And I think I won't have enough to buy the first upgrade. I believe they're four thousand each. But I can show you them, so. Uh, here we be Legion, Curios, Gold, Pay the Up, Powerful, We Make Thee. So, as you can see, uh, the. Sickle, throwing sickle, uh, upgrades to pass through optical obstacles and recovers gold. The Dread Talon uh, resists interruption and increases the attack range. The Will Skull gives you even more health when you use it. And the Shadow Mirror uh, adds the even more distance and your shadow can pick up stuff. Fortunately, we can't do it because we're like $11 shy, which sucks a lot. But <clears throat> I will go up here and show you. You can see King Knight up there. We'll see if uh, he's got anything for me. I don't know if he's going to give me anything, but perhaps he'll give me money. Uh, nope, no money, unfortunately. Okay, so, I'm gonna go down to the bottom here, get set up for the next map we have to play, <clears throat> and that will be, um, we're gonna do the Lost City and Mole Knight next. I believe we got all the ones in this one, though, right? Yep, all right, we got all ten skulls in that. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Bregadan. If you like what you saw here, give me a like or a sub, and I will catch you for the next video, which will be uh, Mole Knight in the Lost City next time on Spectre of Torment. Thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time.